Hello everyone, I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. Today let's see what's the problem with this Sony TV, actually LCD TV. As per customer, it switches on and it turns off immediately or after 10 seconds or 15 minutes. So let's see. On now, you can see small backlight on, but no picture. So let's check what's the problem with this. First, we we'll remove the wall mounting kit, wall mounting brackets, and then remove all the screws surrounding one. Both the sides, there are no screws on the top. You can see screws on this left, right, and the bottom. Remove all the screws. On the, on the bottom there are locks on the top top side As we can see the main filter capacitor is burst. We will change the capacitor, the condenser and then check for the picture whether it will switch on and continue working. Just remove all the connectors carefully and gently. Don't pull them too hard. Let's check before touching the board. We need to check whether the filter is still charged as storing the charge. But as the TV was switching on, there won't be charge stored. It will 
discharge because we disconnected it directly without putting it on standby. So we will desolder the main filter and change it. This capacitor is of 120 microfarad. Four fifty volts. It is written four fifty volts, one twenty microfarad. So we will replace it and check. So I'll be using this same value, one twenty microfarad, four fifty volts filter capacitor. Two volt capacitor. Okay, sorry. And while inserting the new capacitor, be careful with the polarities. See it is buzzed and due to this the PV is switching off by itself. Let's clear the holes by using the desoldering wick. Easiest way for clearing the hole is a desoldering pump, but presently my pump is not working, it's not good. So I am using a desoldering wick. Now we will insert the new capacitor. As you can see this line it denotes negative terminal and positive is not marked. Okay. As this black mark you can see it denotes negative so the negative line on the capacitor should be face to facing towards that. Okay, now the capacitor is being soldered. Now we will connect it. Now we will clean it with a thinner to remove the excess paste on the PCB to avoid moisture, troubles due to moisture in the future. So after cleaning we will fix it on the TV and check for the working. Now we will fix the power supply PCB back. To fix all post screws because as you can see this metal it is for grounding purpose. So connect the connectors. The one which is connected it is for backlight inverter board connector. Then this is for the logic board power supply and the main cord. There is a notch on top, you need to insert it according to that. Now we will switch on the TV and check. the Sony logo clearly and other 
other part of the screen is also good, backlight is good, brightness is good. So now we will put the back cover and keep the TV for testing. Hope this video was helpful for you in solving the dead condition or switching off by itself problem in a Sony TV. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.